Hello everyone, my dear friends. You are on the Stories Matter channel. Get comfortable. We're about to start. Happy viewing. German officers and command considered their soldiers to be the best in the world. The most disciplined, skillful, and steadfast in battle. Also, the German military leaders had an unambiguous opinion about the opponents. Soviet, British, and American soldiers. We'll talk about this in the video. Let's start with Soviet soldiers. The Germans had a special relationship with Soviet soldiers. They were extremely negative. There was powerful propaganda against the Soviet Union and the Jewish Bolshevik threat. The beginning of the war left the German officers with a double impression of the enemy. The actions of the Soviet command were mediocre and clumsy. There was an extremely rational waste of human and material resources, as well as huge losses in infantry and military equipment. There was no logical coordination in the actions of the troops. The reasons were established only later. The Russian soldiers had an acute shortage of radio stations. Many experienced officers also suffered during the repression. But the Germans were shocked by Russian determination. The Russians continued to fight in the most hopeless situations. Surprise and respect for German officers were also caused by the physical and spiritual stamina of Soviet soldiers, their unpretentiousness, ability to survive in incredibly difficult conditions, and also courageously endure hardships and suffering. The Germans also admired the Soviet soldiers' ability to work, their speed, and their skill in which they built complex fortifications and underground tunnels. After Stalingrad, the contempt of German officers for Soviet soldiers was replaced by sincere respect and obvious concern for the outcome of the war. They were surprised and frightened by how unexpectedly the Russians could attack, especially at night. During World War II, no one was as effective in night battles as the Soviet troops. On the contrary, the Soviet artillery didn't particularly frighten the Germans, mainly because the Russian soldiers didn't have enough ammunition. Also, the Russians had a problem with radios, which means they had no coordination of fire, like the Americans and the British. In addition, Russian radio messages were the easiest to intercept. The Germans were interested in the difference in tactics against Allied forces on the Western Front and the USSR. Against Europeans, quickly seize the initiative in an unexpected encounter and force the enemy to surrender. It worked almost 100% of the time for the Germans. It didn't work only with Soviet soldiers. They fought back even when the chances of success were minimal. Opinion about British soldiers The Germans gave British soldiers the nickname Lions Led by Donkeys. The Germans regarded the British military as professional, disciplined, well-trained, brave and tenacious. But the British were uninitiated compared to the Germans. Their tactical understanding was at zero. They didn't know how to adapt to circumstances. The direct attacks of the British have always surprised the Germans with their simplicity. British tank units lined up and attacked the German anti-tank defenses head-on. No infantry support. The Germans were surprised by such simple tactics, especially from the people who invented the tank. The Germans marked the British artillery as a plus. It deployed three to five times faster than American artillery. And all the Allies in the West relied on the support of the British artillery. The Germans had a very definite and unanimous impression of the Americans. All those who fought with them on the Western Front speak of the US Army as mediocre soldiers who didn't have sufficient stamina and determination. The Americans achieved victories only thanks to an unlimited amount of resources, military equipment, weapons and ammunition. On the contrary, in Germany in 1944 to 1945, there was an acute shortage of resources. The Americans fought aggressively, but they were tactically clumsy. Their tactics were primitive. They sent troops forward, besieging the enemy with excessive fire. The soldiers didn't show special zeal and heroism. They did their job and tried to survive the war. The Germans were very fond of making ambushes against the Americans. It was perfect against their aggressive straightforward tactics. They classically eliminated three or four tanks from an ambush to slow down the column. And then they fired artillery. Thus, the Germans managed to defeat the Americans, even in a noticeable minority. 
The only American weapon that the Germans highly valued and feared was artillery. It was inferior to the British artillery in efficiency and accuracy, but it had an unlimited amount of resources. The Americans skillfully coordinated fire on targets. As a result, the German officers considered the Soviet soldiers to be patriots, despising death and fighting to the last drop of blood. American soldiers were trained, well equipped and armed, but they had no desire to take a mortal risk for the sake of their country. The Germans considered the British military to be brave and stubborn, with good military training and strong artillery, but with poor command. That's all my dear friends. Be sure to write in the comments what you think about this. If you liked this video, don't forget to like it, subscribe to our channel and watch new videos.